Thank you for tuning in to another DIY with Wet Library. I'm Alexis Lawrence, your adult service librarian, and today we're making homemade chocolate truffles. And some of the ingredients that you will need for this DIY project today are chocolate and heavy cream. You can use any chocolate that you would like as long as it's a chocolate bar, not chocolate chips. They do not melt as well and it doesn't come out as good. You can use German chocolate, you can use uh, dark chocolate, you can use milk chocolate and white chocolate. If you are going to use milk chocolate and white chocolate, I do recommend that you tweak this recipe slightly. You are going to want to reduce the amount of heavy cream that you use in the milk chocolate and the white chocolate recipe to a quarter of a cup so that your truffles hold together well. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate today. For the heavy cream, if you do not want to use heavy cream, you can substitute that for coconut milk. You're not going to want to use the coconut milk from the dairy aisle. You're going to want to use the coconut milk in a can. It has more of a fat content and it will hold together well. There are some optional ingredients that you can use and I'm going to use those today for the recipe and it's going to make the truffle taste richer and creamier and those ingredients are pure vanilla you can also substitute that with mint if you want like a mint chocolate truffle or you can do coconut you can do lime if you wanted a lime chocolate truffle varieties are endless depending on what you want to do and butter as well so let's get started so i already have my chocolate here it's broken up into small pieces and we're just gonna add that. I have a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla that I'm going to add to the bowl. I have a pat or a half of a tablespoon of butter that goes in there. And then this is a third cup of heavy cream that we are going to bring to a simmer in the microwave and that's about 45 seconds and you just want to monitor that because every microwave is different okay so now that it has come to a simmer we're just going to pour it over the chocolate and we let it sit for about five minutes so that everything melts I'm going to make sure everything, because this is a smaller bowl, that everything is down there. And we just wait the five minutes and then we'll mix everything together. All right, so now that it has set for five minutes, we're just gonna go ahead and mix everything together. Because the chocolate wasn't completely melted um, after pouring in the cream, I put it in for another 10 seconds so that I could melt the rest of it. And I'm switching over to a spoon to mix it a little better. Okay, so now that everything is nice and smooth and mixed, you should have something that looks like this. And we are just going to put this in the fridge for one to two hours until everything is firm and smooth. And now that that is done, I already have a pre-made batch so that we can see what it looks like rolled. So if you notice right now, um, this is what it looks like already done so that we can begin to roll our truffles. It can get a little sticky, so I'm going to put on some gloves so that it does not melt from the heat from my hands. And then you can make this whatever size you want. 
And if you notice that it's sticky and you would like it to be a little more firm, you can put it back in the fridge for another 30 minutes and then take it out to roll it into your topping. So as you can see, it's getting a little stickier. So um, you could put it in the fridge if you wanted to for 30 minutes so that it can get a little firmer before you decide to roll it in toppings. Or you can keep going. I am going to actually finish mine up and then roll it into some toppings that I have prepared. And you can use any toppings that you like, depending on what your interests are. You can roll it into nuts or coconut or peppermint. We are going to, I'm a little messy, take our toppings and I have sprinkles here. And then we have coconut as well for a topping. We also have some crushed peppermint here. And who doesn't love chocolate with peppermint? It's your truffle, you can do with it what you want. I'm gonna try a coconut and peppermint combination. And there you have it. So have fun with it, try it at home. Try different combinations, different flavors, different chocolates. Hopefully you send me some comments and some pictures of what you come up with. Thank you for tuning in again and check out some of our other DIY videos.